Hi, I'm Ramji Chakra, Product Manager for Large Venue Projectors at Epson America, and I'll be discussing the many powerful tools built into Epson Pro Series projectors that allow you to further optimize the incredible image quality of these projectors. Before you get started, let the projector warm up for 30 minutes. This is also a great time to reset existing settings and check that you have the latest firmware. All right, so let's get started. To check the firmware, go to Info, Version. The firmware number are the three numbers after the letter V. So in this case, it's version 3.02. So take that number and compare it with the latest firmware posted at the Epson.com support page of your project. To reset, go to Reset, Reset All Config. I'm using an EBPU 2010 projector. Your Pro Series interchangeable lens projector may not have all the settings I'll be reviewing. Also note that this is only an overview of the function, so please consult your user guide for a full description and operation. I'll be using the on-screen menu, but you can access the same functions and settings from a web browser connected to the projector that's on the same network. Before we dive into the menu settings, let's briefly discuss the projector placement and preparation. If you have some placement flexibility, ensure you place the projector as close to the screen while still filling out the screen edge to edge. By reducing the zoom factor of the lens, you will get the brightest and sharpest image. Don't use the geometry correction of the projector until you have squared up the projector physically with the screen. This will limit the amount of digital correction the projector needs to perform and preserve your image quality. Adjust the ceiling mount or the feet of the projector so that the projector is as aligned as possible with the screen. When adjusting the image height, position the image lower than where you want it to be and then move it up. This will help prevent the image from moving down after adjustment. Use the crosshatch pattern to dial in focus. If you're using an ultra short throw lens, you'll notice an option called distortion that allows you to further tune in the focus. Best to use the standard test pattern for that. With the crosshatch pattern up and focus dialed in, you may want to check for color convergence. So look closely at the white lines throughout the image. You should not see a colored blur on the edge of the lines. You can use the panel alignment feature to adjust the color convergence in the projected image. This is found under extended display panel alignment. Next, let's talk about choosing the color mode and running the auto color calibration tool. Let's start with color mode. Dynamic prioritizes brightness over color tone. So unless you are looking to maximize image brightness over everything else, you are better off using other modes such as the default presentation mode, natural and cinema, or even BT709. Let's select presentation mode here. Auto color calibration is a great automated tool to improve your on-screen image. To use this function, your projector must have the built-in camera or you have attached our optional clip-on camera. Select color calibration from the extended menu and then select start auto adjustment when you're ready. You can switch the color calibration on and off to see the results of the color calibration. I would recommend periodically using this feature as it ensures a consistently high quality image. If you don't have a camera or your install condition prevents you from running it, 
you can use the white balance settings under image, white balance, color temperature. Also, you can bring up an all white test pattern and if the image is not full white, visit the color uniformity section under extended display color uniformity settings. Next, let's take a look at the many options available under the image enhancement menu. 4K enhancement is a great feature to increase the on-screen resolution. This technology doubles the image resolution by shifting each pixel diagonally by 0.5 pixel. It can receive a 4K signal and utilize the extra resolution it provides. A full HD setting enhances a signal of 1080 or WUXGA or higher, while WUXGA Plus for only when the projector receives a resolution above WUXGA. Frame interpolation smooths fast-moving video by inserting intermediate frames. Noise reduction is used to improve the image quality of analog video sources, while MPEG noise reduction reduces artifacts in videos with MPEG video compression. The super resolution menu setting is used if you have a low resolution source, for example, a standard definition DVD video. This function will help sharpen the image. Finally, detail enhancement enhances details to create clear outlines. In some of our Pro Series projectors, you will find deinterlacing in this menu, and this is used for interlaced video sources. Best to leave it off if you have fast moving video images. Image preset mode, you can save image adjustments into this section. So that covers the image enhancement menu settings, but there are some additional options under the image menu that are worth discussing as well. The sharpness setting allows you to adjust the sharpness of image details. For example, you can select thin line enhancement to enhance the details of a strand of hair or pattern fabric. Under advanced, you have our new scene adaptive gamma. And with this setting, it will add additional clarity to dark or very white, bright parts of an image. And finally, dynamic contrast, when turned on, can significantly improve the contrast ratio and make objects in the picture easier to see. But you have to test it out with your source content as for some content it is best set to off. Once you are done with all your settings, it's a good idea to save all your results to memory. Go to Settings, Memory, Memory, and then Save Memory. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you're excited as we are on the advanced features available in our Pro Series projectors. For more information, consult your user guide and view our other tutorials available at epson.com.